Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Azorius Super Friends. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Here at It Resolves, we like to have fun, play new decks, and hopefully learn a little something along the way. Today is absolutely no different. We've got an amazing deck with a bit of a story behind it. But before we jump into that, I just want to say, first and foremost, if you are in the U.S. and you had family over or you got to celebrate Thanksgiving last week, I hope you had a wonderful time. I know that's always a bit of a stressful time for people, family coming into town, that kind of stuff. I hope you were able to enjoy it and spend some time with family. Uh, I did, unfortunately, Caitlin, uh, my wife, for anybody that doesn't know, was down for the count with a sickness. So uh, that was a weird way to say that. But anyway, she was sick for the entirety of the day. Uh, and unfortunately, it lasted quite some time. As you guys know, I was sick last week as well for a little while, so uh, unfortunately, here at our house, we're just trying to get better. Uh, but we did also get to end our giveaway last week, the day before Thanksgiving on Wednesday. Uh, I just want to say again, a huge thank you to everybody who has joined our community, who is a part of our community. We really do appreciate that. Those giveaways are a small way of us to give back to you guys as a massive thank you for, for supporting what we do. John and I work really hard at this, and I'm really glad that you you guys enjoy it so thank you guys so very much we really do appreciate it uh, I am back I am not sick anymore so we're gonna hopefully get back to our daily routine uh, and until at least uh, the, the the next holiday season uh, we will try and stick with every day but guys uh, today's deck Azorius Super Friends. This is actually brought to you by John. John sent me this deck. I've actually already recorded a video of this, uh, but didn't get a chance to edit it down. And unfortunately, I mentioned a time in it, which just meant that I had to re-record it. But this is a really, really fun deck. So uh, to be clear, the, the goal of this deck is pretty obvious if you know uh, some of the new cards. We're trying to get to Urza Planeswalker. So we're, we are trying to meld out uh, between Urza Lord Protector and then of course the Might Stone and Weak Stone. Obviously just good cards in their own right, right? So like this is going to cheapen up a lot of our stuff, which is great for us. Uh, and then this of course gives us either some cards, gives us a little bit more mana, or and then if, uh, it, it's either going to give us the cards or deal with a creature on the opposing side. Uh, we do have a lot of other Planeswalkers in the deck of course, we've got the Wandering Emperor, naturally one of the best four mana planeswalkers right now. Uh, Teferi, who slows the sunset, probably my least favorite in the deck, uh, but certainly does a good job of what we are trying to do, right? It can tap things, untap things, it can draw us some cards if we need to, uh, and certainly that's helpful. Uh, and then, of course, the new Teferi, uh, Teferi Temporal Pilgrim, which is one of my favorite new planeswalkers, even above potentially Urza Planeswalker, uh, solely for the fact that this gets out of hand very very quickly if this is not dealt with uh basically immediately it's very difficult to deal with later on uh, as you're drawing cards which we obviously have a lot of opportunity to do so uh in this deck this uh this teferi is just going to get really really crazy and hopefully that 2-2 two -two spirit with that minus two is going to get pretty crazy as well uh, we do have a lot of interaction in this of course Syn syncopate is here negate is here uh Urtai's Storm, or Scorn, wow, excuse me. Uh, Soul Partition is in here as well. Memory Deluge to draw some cards. Devious Cover Up to counter. Uh, we've got a lot. We've got really a lot. Sitting at the top, we've got Farewell as a three of, and then Portal to Phyrexia, which is just a ridiculous card, if you don't know. Uh, and so it's going to be an absolute blast, guys. We're going to give this a shot. Our goal is obviously to meld. Our goal is to get Urza Planeswalker on the field. I did not accomplish that in the previous video, so I'm looking at this as a golden opportunity to give it another shot. We're going to have some fun today, guys. We're getting back into it. I hope you all are doing well. Let's jump into game one. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. And yeah, this is a perfectly reasonable hand. It's not necessarily amazing, uh, but we can definitely keep it, so we will. Uh, and we'll see what the opponent's up to. It looks like probably mono black. The Evolved Sleeper is always a big tell, right? We know that this is probably going to be mono black. Uh, also, if you notice my voice is still a little messed up, it's just because I'm still, I've still got a little... A little something going on. I'm not sure what, but it's it's working its way through. So I do apologize. Hopefully it's a little lower and my voice sounds more exciting. That's fun. Uh, all right. Getting hit for one happens. Totally fine. All right. Let's go ahead and throw this out and we'll just pass. The soul partition at instant speed is always kind of a nice little, uh, you know, if we need it, we can, we can take advantage of it. We'll see if they actually invest more mana into this. It looks like they may not. Uh... 
I think we soul partition here. Not 100%, but we are looking to play Urza potentially next turn. Um, just as a, if nothing else, just kind of a blocker. Wow, they have another pilfer. Okay, so they're probably going to get rid of Urza, if I had to guess. Uh, which does actually make our land drops a lot easier, right? We just dropped the Rafine's Tower. Wow, we have drawn every Rafine's Tower. Um, and then next turn, we've got Teferi, uh, who slows the sunset. Very aggressive discard uh, deck here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and draw. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not ideal, obviously. Um, but let's go ahead and minus two, see if we can find an answer here. We did not. Uh, I think with that, we'll just take the Celestis. Um, we do have lands here. Obviously, Iganjo is not going to deal with the Shieldreds, so I'm not anticipating us using it. I'll most likely just play it just to get the Teferi down. Unfortunately, the Teferi wants us to draw cards, and so does their Shieldred. Uh, but, wow, look at this. So they're going to exploit, draw two. They lose two, but they gain four, so they're actually up to life. Uh, thanks to the Shieldred. Great job on the opponent's end. Very, very well played. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think we have much of an option. I think we just kind of have to split the difference here and give them either a creature or a planeswalker to deal with and hope that we can kind of stick one of them for the turn. If they've got a removal spell, obviously this is not a great play. And this is mono black, so they probably just have Invoke Despair. But... <laughs> Uh, it is worth it to uh, to at least split the difference and kind of make them have it. And it looks like they're going to soul transfer, uh, which is fine, right? It's not great, but we do still at least get a creature down, which is the benefit to playing something like a Planeswalker that spits out a creature at the same time, right? So that's exactly what we kind of wanted. Um, not wanted, but, you know, it was not unhelpful. Um, <laughs> Let's go ahead and drop the Celestis. So now we've got either Iganjo or, of course, the uh, the uh, the Scorn. I don't think I attack here. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. Uh, your library for a card. Do we care about that? I think we do because they can just go ahead and grab a, um, uh, in particular, an Invoke Despair, right? Like that's probably the worst case scenario. Uh, we can block the Evolve Sleeper, so it's really just the Shieldred coming through. Wow, they attacked? It doesn't have Death Touch yet. That was a bit of an odd attack. Uh, not 100% sure why they did that, to be honest. Um, all right, so we play Urza, and unfortunately we pass. We may have to Iganjo plus block here. <laughs> it's probably just going to be our best bet. I'm curious if they actually exploit this or not. They do. Uh, I don't even think they really needed to do that, but it is a smart... Oh, they're making us do it. Totally fair. Uh, well done, opponent, actually. Uh, that was very, very solid play. Unfortunately, that just kills us. Good game by the opponent. They owned us 100% throughout that game. <laughs> there was no hope, uh, but that was very, very good. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. What's up guys, before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you that we send out altars every single month to participating Patreon members. Now please don't feel pressured of course, but if you are interested in supporting the channel and picking up some awesome altars every single month, you can check out all the details over on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash it resolves. This month's to honor some of the most impactful lands we have ever seen in Magic, we have got the Urza Legendary Land Cycle, including Sarah's Sanctum, Talarian Academy, Phyrexian Tower, and Gaia's Cradle. If you're interested in picking these up, they will be available through the month of November and will be sent to you at the end of the month. As always, guys, we really appreciate the support and thank you so much for watching the videos. I hope you all enjoy the gameplay. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, don't love this hand, but I think we'll keep it based on the fact that we've got a handful of lands as well as a couple pieces of interaction. Uh, it's amazing how much the mono black uh, uh, deck has actually changed in just like a week, it seems. That felt like such a heavier discard, like double pilfer was a bit of a lot on the discard end of things. Um, but the opponent played it perfectly, so well done opponent. That was perfectly fine. Uh, let's see what the opponent is up to this time. All right, go ahead and drop that Rafine's Tower. Easy, easy starting point. And hopefully this isn't like a mono red deck, although they do have Squee 
as their sleeves, so maybe we should know better. Um, but Teferi, who slows the sunset, actually does a pretty good job of keeping us in the game against these, these aggressive decks, if that is indeed what they're playing. Gaining two life every turn, while it doesn't necessarily seem like a lot, I get it. Uh, two life actually means a lot against a mono red deck, right? Like, that's a play with fire. That's a card. That's, uh, that's a uh, etching of whatever that little flip enchantment uh that's a uh, that's a lot of things that you know we don't really have to or we can mitigate the damage on it's not necessarily a ton but it's something okay and it's not even that so that's okay um we have got selesnia enchantments i'm very happy we pulled the uh farewell here awesome so we do have the uh, the scorn here, which we'll probably just use on basically anything here. Yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and counter it. Not even gonna let it hit the field. It's not a very big spell, I know, but next turn we're planning to hit to fairy most likely, um, and we do kind of just need to play every land I think at this point. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, hmm. What's going to be the best move? I think it's honestly just a minus two and probably just take the loss on Teferi. Wow. Not good. Uh, I think we take the card draw. We've already got the scorn. We do have the silver scrutiny as well, but this shows us quite a handful of cards, which is nice. Um, let's see. Yep, they're going to take the hit there. That's fine. Again, we have answers to all of this. We just need to hit the lands, right? So like, that's kind of the biggest deal to us. Um, we do have soul partition. I think we just have to go for this and we just need lands. <laughs> so I'm going to take the lands. Uh, yes, I know there was a might stone and weak stone in there, but this guarantees us next turn, the farewell, which is just going to sweep everything, uh, including the graveyard if we want, which does remove the opportunity for, uh, the Kami. Well, I guess we're exiling it regardless, but this is honestly just a, a very, uh, bonkers play against them i think so let's go ahead and do this uh we'll exile all enchantments exile all creatures i don't think we actually exiled the graveyards we have a memory deluge in there that we have the land in hand to play uh so i'm not super super with the idea of exiling the graveyards that's very good um okay so we've got some options here uh we can just soul partition this at any given point yeah, I think we'll just wait and see what they do. It's kind of the nice thing about the uh, soul partition play. It's a little, like, it, it's not the best, obviously, but it is quite good. Uh, do we care to counter this? I don't think so. I think we want to counter more impactful spells, right? Like, this is good because it powers up Katilda and draws a card, but it is just a 1-1 one -one at the end of the day. And I think our life total is much more concerning than anything else right now. Um, so let's go ahead and push that and uh, we'll see if they have anything. They can just replay it next turn or uh, excuse me at their second main if they want, which is fine, right? Like that's cool. Um, just gonna counter it. <laughs> uh, do we do anything else? No, I'm not gonna draw for one. Cool. Um, yeah, I will just play this again. Lands are pretty important in a deck where we're trying to do a lot uh and so i think at this point we're just in the game of like let's make sure we've got everything taken care of here uh cool i really hope they use the katilda uh i'm gonna let this resolve i want them to play that though it doesn't look like they necessarily will let's go ahead and do it uh just force the issue <laughs> We are in the, we have to slow them down, right? Like that's our, that's our biggest thing. Let's go ahead and draw three cards. Uh, this is, I love Silver Scrutiny. It's such a great card. Oh, farewell. Yes, please. What a great card. Uh, with that, we may find ourselves exiling everything here, um, including the graveyard actually. Yeah, that leaves up Soul Partition. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to do it. So exile all creatures, all enchantments, all graveyards. We don't actually need to hit creatures here, but I know we lose a memory deluge there. I think it's okay. Um, we've got a silver scrutiny, which is potentially going to draw us quite a number of cards here. Uh, and they are also down to, well, 
They have spirited companions, so they are drawing more, but I think we've got the answers we need. Uh, or the, the options we need. Wow, another farewell. Uh, that's very good. With that in mind, uh, let's draw for what? We'll say four. I don't want to draw, like, everything, <laughs> you know? Um, that leaves us negate plus soul partition available. So if they have, like, a wedding announcement, we can just negate it. Uh, we have the soul partition for whatever creature they decide to use. Yeah, I'm just going to take the one, by the way. I'm not going to worry about that. There we go. Now we are talking. All right, let's get to fairy out there. 100% uh, anticipate them having some kind of... Um, not like a uh, enchantment removal but again we have the negate to deal with it uh and there we go basically they have to have multiple here and i'm sure they do they've not played a lot of cards in their hand so i'm anticipating that they do that's fine one of the nice things about this is we can farewell just the enchantments and it doesn't really matter <laughs> uh yeah so we're gonna take the teferi i assume um yeah. So I think if we do this, they obviously don't get to replay that. Um, we draw a card. Let's do this. Exile all enchantments. <laughs> and we get our stuff back, uh, which I like. Yeah, let's do this for two cards first. Beautiful. It's going to throw some counters around, which is always good. Um, I think the play is honestly just a minus here again, funny enough. Um, and we can actually channel this. Uh, yeah, so we attack for five here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That was really good. Uh, farewell, man. So just bonkers against this deck. Uh, I mean, it's just good against any deck, obviously, but like this is kind of a a very specific scenario where it's just really, really good. <laughs> Go ahead and draw a card here just to get some counters thrown around. That's fine. Uh, unless they just have tons of these, which, hey, maybe they do. Sure. <clears throat> wow, they literally have tons. Uh, thankfully, we have to another Teferi at this point, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well... I mean, we have to do it. We have to do it. Come on. We can't not, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. What do we want to do? Let's let's exile you. Let's get let's get to fairy back here. <laughs> uh, all right. So we get to let's let's do this first. <laughs> let's draw two and then discard. That seems pretty good. Uh, we'll just discard you I think we've got plenty of lands at this point uh yeah and now we just have a wandering emperor ready to go uh we did it guys heck yeah uh I was a little worried because uh, it's a it's a very good planeswalker but it does invest quite a bit of mana this is kind of the perfect game to do it though after three farewells at this point like you know it's pretty pretty much perfect, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's see if the opponent actually does anything. Um, they only have one card available. They're taking a little while. Let's see what they got. It might be another, like, borrowed time. Uh, which could... I mean, what? It could remove one thing? Who cares? We have an Urza Planeswalker. And worst case scenario, they deal with the Urza Planeswalker with the Borrowed Time, and then we're just good anyway. Uh, we only need to draw a handful of cards here, and we just have a Wandering Emperor available. There we go. Guys, we did it. That was amazing. I can't believe we actually pulled it off. I am very happy with that. We have got time for one more game. We're going to squeak in another one. Let's go for it. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Definitely going to be our last game. Bit of an odd hand uh, and a little bit of a slow hand, but you know what? I'm gonna try it. The syncopate is the only reason I feel okay like trying this. Uh, drawing a second to fairy is about the worst thing we can do, but um, not the worst maybe, but it's pretty bad. All right, so this is the, uh, the soldier deck. Thank you, farewell. <laughs> 
Uh, we really needed a farewell. Teferi's gonna help us get to some lands here as well. So that's very, very solid for us. Basically, we counter everything we can counter uh, and hope we stay in the game. <laughs> we can use Iganjo if we draw another land here, but we didn't, so we're just gonna throw it out. At this point, we just need lands. Uh, if we get lands, we can get a Teferi, which should help us get more lands, which should put us in a reasonable position. Um, kind of a land, that's not great. All right, well, we might lose now. Uh, just the reality of it. Uh, if we don't get lands, we cannot win this game. And they are annihilating our life total right now. They win next turn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What can we do? What can we do? All right, so let's do a little bit of math. Um, so we can play Teferi. That doesn't leave us very many options, but we can gain two life, which will put us up to nine, which just means two of their creatures have to get through, which they will. Uh, alternatively, we can draw. That's not going to do it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're just dead. I think this is just the only play. We could devious cover up, but like, honestly, what's the point? Um, yeah, not hitting a land there was the worst possible thing. Like, literally. <laughs> I can't believe that. That sucks. Good game. They just got us. That was a super quick game, guys. But you know what? We still melded our way into Ursa Planeswalker last game, and that is all I care about. That was a super quick one, but that's fine, guys. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys, so first and foremost, again, John, my man, I, uh, I've missed you this past week. As you know, I texted you this morning. I love you very much. Thank you so much for sharing this deck with me. This was an awesome one. Uh, we did get to pull it off, guys. We did it. Uh, and we got to see the Super Friends aspect a little bit in that game, too. What I mean by that is we started to, we stabilized, obviously, after three farewells. And then we're able to get not only Urza Planeswalker down, but we also had the new Teferi Temporal Pilgrim available to us, or out there uh, and then of course the wandering emperor in our hand that was ready to play at their end step and so that's really the long-term goal of the deck right is getting that incremental value through each and every planeswalker and then a basically just being able to to stabilize at some point to get to that point and so we were able to do that thankfully i'm very happy to say we were that was a wonderful game uh, the other two unfortunately just we didn't even stand a chance they had too many aggressive things and lands unfortunately were a bit of an issue in that third game as well well. So a little bit odd, but you know what? It was still a fun deck. I really, really like this one. I do encourage everybody to try it because I think it's a very fun deck. Uh, if control isn't your thing or if super friends isn't your thing, obviously this is not the deck for you, but I do anticipate there are a handful of you guys out there who love this kind of thing and for good reason. It's a blast. John, thank you, my man. Thank you guys very much again. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday here in the US. Uh, for everybody else, we were out last week, but we're back now and I cannot wait to jump back into more and more gameplay videos. I love you all so much. Have a fantastic day, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow.